I'm here with uh, Sean Bernecki, who's one of our HRER MPS students online. And he's come to Penn State for the day. We've decided to take a little tour of different places on campus, and we're at the Hintz Alumni Center right now. And uh, Sean um, is a, uh, also a very gifted musician as a result of this degree and is going to play for us. Is it Vivaldi or Beethoven? What is it, Sean? Well, uh, actually, that's in my last class. Uh, that is in 894 is where you get the piano lessons. So I won't be playing anything today, but we will discuss the HRER degree and, and the World Campus. Uh, as for the HRER degree, Amy is the guru. Uh, she can help you with absolutely anything you need to know, whether you do it in person or whether you do it uh, online email or over the phone. She can answer any questions that you have and guide you along the way. Uh, it's nice to be here in the Alumni Center. I actually have a BA and an MED from Penn State, so uh, this is my first visit to this since the Stone Age, and this building wasn't here. So uh, not all World Campus students get to come here, but if you do, stop in at University Park and see Amy. <laughs> I love seeing students, so I agree. Please stop in and see me, and uh, we'll, we'll have fun traveling around campus. Well, Sean, you know, um, you've, you're almost done with the degree now and um, soon to be graduating. And um, you've, you've been able to really get a sense of what it's like to be an online student as opposed to what it was like to be an, an in-resident student. So maybe you could reflect upon what, you've, um, what, what your takeaways are for being an HRER MPS student online. Sure. Um, my first degree, uh, my, my first, uh, I guess it would be my bachelor's degree and my master's done in residence here at University Park, and uh, it's a whole different experience than the World Campus. Jumping into the World Campus, I really didn't know what to expect, and to tell you the truth, it has been tougher than being in residence. Uh, the information's good, but you do a lot more research. Um, when you're in residence, you have an instructor, you get their view. Uh, you do have an instructor through the World Campus, you get a little bit of their view, but you get to do a lot of your own research. And because you do that, I think you learn a lot more. You learn what interests you more. Uh, you learn a wider variety of things. Uh, in addition, the World Campus is truly a World Campus. Uh, when I was here in residence, I would say probably 75% of the students were from Pennsylvania. They had a lot of the same experiences, unless they were from one of the metropolitan areas, Philadelphia or Pittsburgh, they were fairly rural like myself, and there wasn't a lot of difference. In the World Campus, I have had classmates that I served on teams with from across the world, not just in the United States, uh, but around the world. Uh, one of my teammates was from Kuwait. Uh, one of my teammates did a internship with Mother Teresa. Uh, some are from extreme metropolitan areas, New York City, LA, Seattle. Uh, some, some are from areas that are even more rural than I come from. So you get a different feel and a different point of view than you would in a classroom. You know, that's really interesting just to think that um, your colleagues in the classroom, in addition to the instructors and the material, really add to that overall experience from multiple perspectives. Um, you know, just would you say that uh, just that you're, you felt that you've had an increased uh, opportunity to network with some of these um, other colleagues, students in the department that have taken this online degree? And do you feel that any of these relationships will be ongoing even after completion? Oh, sure. Um, especially when you do uh, teamwork or group work, you have a small group. It might be four, it might be six. And within that team, you, you always hit it off with somebody. And you know, a lot of it's centered around work or work experience or school experiences or life experience. But there are a couple that you'll take, you'll take with you. Um, I have I've met a couple of people online through through this course that we have ongoing conversations probably weekly through email. We do have some phone contacts. I, I would say in the year I've been in the program, there's probably a dozen people that I keep in contact with. And uh, it, it, it's wonderful. Um, it, it gives you a networking opportunity, uh, not only for your schoolwork, but it may also give you a networking opportunity uh, whenever you're seeking employment. Well, Sean, thank you very much for those reflections. and. And I really appreciate you taking the time to come to campus. And uh, um, now I guess we're going to get to, well, I guess we're not until after 894, get to hear this lovely music. You're that not going to, but <laughs> we're going to go to another location and show you another side of the program. 
suggested by one of our instructors. <laughs> Thank you.